Hello, today I'm in my Model X again and uh, the plan today is to test a better route planner again but uh, this time in a uh, different car. <laughs> so um, I just want to see how accurate it is. Uh, the plan is to drive the same route as I did with the EUP when I tested it. I'm going from Circle K Runtom to Ringdalskogen and then back to Grelland. And um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, right now I'm just charging up. I'm going to go for 70%. I think that's what I put into a better route planner earlier today. Uh, it might be a bit different since the temperature might have changed. It's now 10 degrees outside. I think it was 7 or something when I did this on the computer. I have uh, my phone here with uh, scan my Tesla, you can see it's not charging at 50 kilowatt, even if I'm, uh, um, I'm, I'm at 66% instead of charge. The reason for that is it's actually heating the battery at the same time, so um, yeah, it steals about 6 kilowatt for the battery heater. <laughs> but shouldn't take very long until I hit 70% and then I'm uh, off. Yeah, so I, I found the setting here. You can see it's actually doing 100% coolant heating and it's using 4.21 kilowatts to do it. So that's the reason why I don't get the full 50. And why am I charging at the 50 kilowatt charger? Well, first of all, I, I need like a, a few percent and uh, it's a bit cheaper than charging at 150 kilowatt. And I wanted to do the same route, so I start at the same point as the EAP. Uh, but I'm not the only one. There's also a, a Polestar charging here <laughs> on 50 kilowatt, and he's not even in the car. So, and there's a 150 kilowatt charger right next to me. I wouldn't do that, I think. But I've seen a lot of Polestars charging at uh, the 50 kilowatt chargers, so I don't know. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, once I go into a better route planner, it should update. Yeah, it's uh, still charging. Is this bright enough? I think it should expose, have the exposure, exposure up a bit. <laughs> well, let's try to plan it first and see what happens. So it says 1 hour 21 minutes. It expects me to be at Circle K Ring Dalskogen with 50% and at Circle K Grelan with 36%. I think when I plotted it at home, it said 50% at um, uh, Ringdalskogen and 35% at Gelland. Meanwhile, oh, it's still charging. Stop. I set a limit, but that doesn't work here. <laughs> so, the car itself estimates 48% at Circle K Ringdalskogen, and we'll see which one is best. Oh, now it's at 49. Okay. Ready to charge. So yeah, they estimate kind of the same. I put in 105% of the speed limit in uh, a better route planner, so whichever wins. <laughs> it's going to be hard to differentiate them now because they're so close. But let's see. And uh, I just passed uh, Gelland on the way down. This was where I charged the first time in the EAP. So interestingly, a better route planner estimates that I will have 49% now at Rindalskogen. The consumption is also really high, but uh, I see here that the average graph is just above the average of 214 right now, which should mean I'm at about 220. So I think this high consumption is mostly due to... Uh, there was a lot of traffic in the city in the start, and uh, traffic in a heavy, large car is not good. <laughs> Let's see what the, yeah, the Tesla is still at 49%, so we'll see. Now they're both equal. <laughs> now, this is a bit interesting. In the Tesla, it claims I have done 225 watt hour per kilometer, but a better route planner says 207. It also now estimates 49% state of charge at arrival. I'm not sure if we're going to see that. I'm going to have issues with the sun today. Uh, and let's see. In the test light now says um, 50%, so they actually swapped. <laughs> uh, 
I think we're going to end up somewhere around there at least. But you can see I'm going a bit below the curve in a better route planner. A bit below the curve it estimated. So I don't know why, but it follows it quite closely though. And uh, I'm at Circle K Grell, uh, Ringdalskogen. The sun is really annoying today. <laughs> in the autumn in Norway, the sun is so low, you can't do anything uh, almost. Or, and when you're driving, it goes straight into the window. Anyway, I did end up at 49%. So the Tesla actually won that competition, sort of. Uh, because a better route planner at first estimated 50%. And I think uh, I even drove a little bit too fast. Maybe that's why. Because I, in the 110 zone, I did a slight underestimation or, or I overestimated how much 105% was by two kilometers per hour, maybe. <laughs> so um, that might be why a better route planner missed. But the strange thing is that the um, onboard planner in the Tesla got it correct because it's supposed to take the speed limit and not going over the speed limit. Um, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, next leg is to Grelland. Can I get a focus here? Yeah, I think so. And uh, it estimates that I should arrive at 34%. The Tesla estimates 35%. So let's go there and see which one is correct. And now both the car and a better route planner estimates 34%, which is kind of funny because, the, as I said, the Tesla is supposed to follow the speed limit. Apparently it doesn't. The blue line, by the way, is the estimated consumption. It's not the actual consumption. The actual consumption so far has been a bit higher. Let's see, 224. watt hour per kilometer. So uh, I probably need to calibrate the wheels again because the last time I tried to do that they went three kilometers faster than the speed limit. So in theory I'm doing 115 now which is about five percent over. Actually it should be 15 and a half but it's not that accurate. <laughs> so We'll see, there's a lot of traffic today, by the way. All right, I'm uh, almost there. Now you can see the graph here. It's almost neck and neck. I'm not sure if we can see it. There we go. And um, it still estimates 34% at arrival. 1% lower than when it started. The car is still 34%, so I think the car is going to win this round too. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes when you have these on-ramps, you have to... The car wants to go onto the on-ramp for some reason. I have uh, arrived at Circle K Grelland. Car seems to not know this. Oh, it wants me to go here. <laughs> oh well. Um, but I ended up at 34%. Uh, a better route cl planner crashed when I got here. Come on. Get the... Uh... Oh, it's the phone. So, no info there. And uh, the consumption has been fairly high. 223 watt hour per kilometer. I think the EF did it in 180 or something. But, you know, high consumption is relative. I've been going quite fast. And if I was in an e-tron, for instance, this would have been over 300 watt hour per kilometer. So, yeah. I think uh, the car won over a better route planner. Uh, surprisingly enough, but the, the sun won overall. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a better position there. Yeah, so in the end the car won. I think it would not have done one if it rained or if it was snow uh, or something like that, because then it seems to, um, let's say, uh, underestimate the consumption. I, I'm not sure why. A better route planner will use, the if you have the premium version, it will use the live weather and all of that kind of stuff. So I think the next time I will try this same test in rain and see what happens. Uh, it could be interesting. Uh, or in snow, uh, that's probably more likely. E even if it's 10 degrees now, it's uh, every night now has been below zero. So 
winter is coming. <laughs> um, I also, yeah, kind of surprised that it did keep the estimation properly at this speed, but I'm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it seems to be neck and neck at least. So when it's a nice day and sunny and um, no heavy winds and stuff, uh, the in onboard car navigation will do a fine job. <laughs> it usually does anyway, especially if you just o overestimate it by like 5%. Oh, I think my voice is <coughs> cracking again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Next test will be um, in the rain or in the snow. And I'm also going to do the same test with a trailer because a better route planner supports adding a trailer to the configuration. And I'm going to go on a trip again where I have to pull a trailer for 450 kilometers. Uh, last time I didn't use a route planner, but it would be, uh, yeah, nice to see how it does so I could estimate more accurately. <laughs> now to get a hot dog or not. I think I need to have proper dinner. <laughs> right, that's it for today.